Summer Michelle here. Today I have a little morning yoga practice for you. And this is just going to be a fairly short, simple sequence that you can do. Um, you know, really, you can do it any time of the day, um, but it's especially good for when you first get up in the morning, just after you've been sleepy all night hopefully, and um, just to kind of help prevent any stiffness and just kind of get your everything moving a little bit so that you feel better through your body and your mind. It's just a really good way to start the day. It's also a practice that I designed to just help you feel overall more balanced on the both the physical and subtle body levels. So this is um, it's a beginner friendly, it's pretty much all levels, most people be able to do this practice. Um, so that being said, I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. <laughs> Hello and welcome to your morning yoga practice. So for today's practice you'll need a blanket, I really like these like, sort of Mexican yoga blankets, but you can use whatever you have on hand and a block. And if you don't have a yoga block, you may also, you know, use like a phone book or just something, whatever you have around your house that you might be able to use um, if you don't have a block. Also, optionally, you can have a yoga bolster. You don't necessarily need to have that, but if you do have one, you may want to have it handy for the practice too. So we'll just get started by finding a comfortable seat whatever that means to you. So you can sit cross-legged. Uh, I like to sit on top of a blanket or even a bolster just to elevate your hips. Makes it a little easier to sit comfortably with an upright spine. And from your seat here, start by taking a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Just let out any tension, any stress that you might be starting the day with. Let's do it one more time. Just a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And release. And then from here, we'll come to a steady rhythmic breath. So just gently start to breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in. And breathe out. I encourage you to stay with the steady rhythmic breath today throughout the yoga practice, throughout the asana practice. And you sit with this breath, I invite you to set an intention, just a positive, something positive and uplifting to you that you would like to focus on for your practice on the mat and really just for your day. What do you feel is needed from your practice? What kind of energy would you like to send out as you start your day? As you sit with this breath and with your intention, I'd like to open the practice by just chanting one alm together. And what is alm? Alm is simply a universal sound vibration that just kind of connects us to that energy or that vibration that we all have within ourselves and just connecting also to that energy, recognizing it within each other so we can feel the interconnectedness between ourselves and everything around us and also connecting a little more deeply to the practice. As always, you may choose to join in with your own voice or to listen. Take a deep inhale. And you may begin to open your eyes Set up right, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, and exhale, bring your palms through the heart center. And exhale, release your arms back to the side, 
Inhale, bring your shoulders up by your ears. And exhale, roll them back. And again, inhale, your shoulders up. And exhale, two, roll them back. And then one more time, just on your own little shoulder roll. <coughs> just releasing any tension in the shoulders. And just allow your shoulder blades to relax down your spine. And inhale to send your chin up towards the sky. And breathe here so you feel a stretch along the front of your neck. On your next inhale, come back to center and take your chin down to your chest. Allow your chest to come up to meet your chin. And this time feel the stretch along the back of your neck. And we'll just take a few breaths here. Just doing some little exercises to kind of release any energy blockages that you might have. On your next exhale, begin to slide your chin over to your right shoulder and just pause here for a moment and then come back to center in your own time and make your way over to the left and then back to center and once more to the right and then back to center again once more to the left and just go at your own pace here and then eventually back to center. And just lift your chin back up to neutral. And from here, you can place your hands on your lap. Kitty wants to join us. Let's begin to take your chest forward and then slide over to the left and then back and over to the right. And just draw little circles, kind of do some, do some little hip circles here. And these circles you can be as big or as small as you'd like. You can move quickly or slowly, just depending on your own preference. Do one more circle in this direction. And then reverse in the opposite direction. And make your way back to your regular seat. Hmm. And from here, I'm going to slide your feet back behind you and make your way onto hands and knees for tabletop. Just come to hands and knees. Your fingers are spread wide, shoulders stacked over your wrists hips stack over your knees, tailbone pointed back towards the wall behind you, your neck is long in line with your spine. As you inhale, begin to look forward, allow your chest to expand, abs release towards the earth as your tailbone reaches up for cow. As you exhale, begin to look towards your navel, navel draws into the spine as your tailbone drops and your spine reaches up for cow. Just inhale back into your cow and exhale back into your cat. Just continue to flow through these cat and cow motions with your own pace, with your own breath. Just begin connecting the breath with the movement. So your cats correspond with your exhale and your cows with your inhale. And then you'll make your way back to a neutral spine. And take your seat back to your heels for Balasana or Child's Pose. Your knees can be close together or apart. Stretch your arms out in front of you while your forehead to touch the earth. And breathe in and breathe out. Just remembering that this is always a place that you can retreat to or that you can come back to at any time during the practice. Inhale, come back up to your tabletop. Bring your knees back in underneath your hips. 
and take your palms out a little wider than your shoulders. Fingers spread nice and wide. You begin to curl your toes under and lift your hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. Just allow your head to hang heavy here. Maybe bend one knee and bend the other if that feels good to you. Give a nice little stretch through the calves. This is your first one of the day, so feel free to wiggle around and move your way into it. Shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Heels may or may not be touching the earth, kind of a structural thing. Inhale, lift your heels off the earth. Exhale to bend your knees. Inhale to step your feet forward. To meet your hands coming into Uttanasana or standing forward fold. Just allow your head to hang heavy here, your upper body relaxes, you lengthen the spine. Try to keep your ankles, knees, and hips stacked so we're not sticking the butt out behind. Stacking that and then allowing the fold to take place. Optional, if your hands don't reach, it's not a big deal, they can just hang down, but again the block can come into play here. You can place that underneath your hands to lift the earth up to you if you prefer. And then begin to slightly bend your knees and slowly roll up to standing. Shoulders, head coming up last. Just make your way up to standing. And find a stance, your feet parallel to one another. Be either close together or up to hip width apart. Standing up tall, abs slightly draw in, engage, chest is lifted, your shoulders roll back. Lifting up through the crown of your head, but staying rooted still through the soles of your feet. And just breathe here into mountain pose, Tadasana, our foundational posture for practice. And inhale, reach your arms up overhead, bring your palms together, and exhale to stretch over to your right side. And then you stretch all along the side of your body. Inhale to come back up, and exhale to the other side. And try to keep your feet rooted towards the earth as you do so. Inhale to come back up. Exhale your palms back to the side to return to your mountain pose. I'm going to do a simple sun salutation. Just kind of again greet the day and get ourselves flowing a little bit more. <coughs> Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips. You fold forward. Inhale, look up to lengthen the spine. Bring your palms to your shins. Warrior waist, shoulders roll back, flat back. And exhale to fold. This time bending your knees enough so that your hands are beside your feet on the earth. Inhale to step your right foot back behind you, coming into a lunge. Exhale, drop that knee. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, palms back to the earth. Inhale, step that left foot back to meet the right. Exhale, seat the heels, child's pose. Inhale, come back up to tabletop and shift your chest a little bit forward. Keep your hips lifted as you exhale, begin to bend your elbows and take your chin and chest back down towards the earth. Inhale, drop your hips, shoulders roll back, thumbs in line with ribs, chest open, cobra. Exhale, come back down, and then press down through bent knees, so lift up to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Look between your hands, inhale to step that right foot forward. If it doesn't make it all the way, you can kind of step it along, and into your lunge. Optional exhale to drop that left knee, or keep it lifted, inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, palms back to the earth. Inhale, step the left foot up to meet the right. Come back to your forward fold. 
Now press down through your legs, bending your knees slightly as you lift back up to standing. And reach your arms up overhead. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up to lengthen. And exhale to fold. This time step your left foot back behind you into a lunge. Exhale, drop the knee. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, palms back to the earth. Inhale, step your right foot back. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, back up to table. Slide yourself a little bit forward. Exhale, your chest and chin down with your hips lifted, eight point pose. Inhale, back to cobra. Exhale, come back down, come through met knees, downward facing dog. Look between your hands, inhale, send that left foot forward, meet the hands. Exhale, drop your right knee, optional. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, palms back to the earth. Inhale, step that back foot forward, come into Utsmasana. Pause here for a moment. And slightly bend your knees, inhale, make your way back up to standing, reach your arms up to the sky, greeting the day, and exhale, palms through the heart center. That's our sun salutation. Just pause here for a moment, take a breath in Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, look up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Once more, inhale, look up to lengthen. And exhale, look fold. This time, bending your knees enough so your hands are beside your feet on the earth. You step one foot back, followed by the other, lifting your hips up and downward facing dog. Just take a few breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. And exhale, drop your knees back to the earth and just slide your feet over to one side, it doesn't matter which, back to a seat. To borrow this blanket from Murphy. Murphy, can I have that, please? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a blanket. You wanna sit on your folded blanket, most likely here. Just come back to your cross-legged seat. Remember, sit up tall, upright spine. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and exhale. So you take your left hand to your right knee. Take your right hand back behind you and begin to turn to look out over your shoulder for a seated twist. As you inhale, sit up tall, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, to twist and look over. Inhale to look back in front, gently unwind back to center. Again, reach your arms up overhead, inhale, Exhale to the other side, this time taking your right hand to your left knee and turn to look out over your left shoulder. So up tall, lengthen as you inhale and twist as you exhale. Inhale to look back to center and gently unwind. And then you can set your blanket aside for right now. You want to scoot forward on your mat enough so that you can make your way. Murphy, you might be in the way here. They can't see you. So that you can make your way down onto your back. With bent knees in front of you and your feet on the floor. And just one vertebrae at a time. Slowly roll down onto your back. Make sure your feet are parallel to one another. 
and your knees are stacked over your ankles. Palms are face down to the floor beside you. And use the strength of your legs as you, there goes Jezebel, as you inhale to lift your hips up one vertebrae at a time. So lifting your lower, mid, and upper back. I'll just take a few breaths here in our bridge pose. Optional to keep your arms where they're at, or you may begin to walk your shoulder blades together and clasp your hands underneath. at the yoga studio <laughs> and just hug your knees into your chest from here just take a moment here just hug your knees into your chest and just gently rock from side to side just massaging the spine should feel really nice on your back and then when you're ready then release your feet back to the earth you want to reach for your block and just lift your hips up almost as if you're coming into bridge again and place this block right underneath your sacrum it's the very lowermost part of your spine and you might need to wiggle it around a little bit to kind of get it where you want it and then once you've got that set up just bring your knees back in towards your body and allow your feet to go up towards the sky for supported inversion. We're essentially turning ourselves upside down for a couple of minutes here. You can also use a bolster instead of a block here if that's more comfortable to you and that's something that you have on hand. Having that block underneath you lifts your lifts you up so that your heart is just a little bit over your head so you're experiencing an increased blood flow back down to your heart it's obviously super healthy as well as the increased um just the increased benefits of an inversion if you were to do something like headstand or handstand or something like that you're still receiving um, those benefits because of being in this position so you're getting that reverse of gravity toning of the skin i like to think it's a good anti-aging practice gives me incentive to do it and just an opportunity to see things from a different perspective take a few more breaths here Also feel free to point and flex your feet. I recommend doing that at this time. Get a little stretch through your feet to start the day. And then even do some ankle circles. But be sure to go in both directions. Inhale, bring your knees back in. Exhale, release your feet back to the earth. Inhale, lift your hips up just enough to remove the prop and set it off to the side. And exhale, release your hips back down to the earth. And from here, we'll just make any final movements or adjustments that you'd like to make to set up for Shavasana. That might mean a folded blanket underneath your head, sort of as a pillow. That can be quite nice. Maybe you put on some socks or something warmer at this time. You can also use, if Murphy will let me, Murphy. You can also use a bolster underneath your knee. 
knees and it'll just help take any pressure off of your lower back. So just anything that you feel called to do to just get yourself as comfortable and as relaxed as possible. I would recommend staying here for at least five minutes. You could really even do 10 minutes or however long that you'd like. Just allow your body to digest the practice and take in the benefits of what you've just done. Allow your eyes to close your back against the earth, legs out in front of you. Palm can be to the side facing upward, take in any positive energy you've created. Or you may place your hands, your palms at your chest for a little bit more of a grounding effect. Just come back to your natural breath, allow your eyes to relax, muscles of your face relax shoulders relax towards the earth <clears throat> giving yourself complete permission on every level for this moment to just let go as we enter shavasana corpse pose it's the final pose of the practice it symbolizes the death of the practice cats really want to be where we release all physical efforts from the body. Continue to breathe here. to deepen your breath, drawing energy back into your body. Just make any small movements that feel good to you. Perhaps wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, or you may even just stretch as if it were the first of the day. Eventually, hug your knees, 
back into your chest. And gently roll over to your right side. Pause here in Eagle Pose. Each morning, we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Buddha. And mindfully begin to make your way back up to your seat. And as you do so, just take a brief moment to express gratitude towards yourself for coming to your practice today and starting off your day on a positive note. I'd like to close out by just chanting one more Aum sound vibration. Take a deep inhale. Oh. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives in some way contribute to that freedom and happiness for all. The word namaste means the spirit in me, seeds and honor is the spirit in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope that you enjoyed this practice. I hope the cats were not too much of a distraction. I, I suppose they add a little color to the videos. Um, which is why I often um, plan to film at the yoga studio instead of at my home studio. But today that was not an option. So I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So I worked with what I have. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, please give me feedback. Leave comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see more like this or there are other types of yoga videos or even videos about any of the things I talk about. Um, raw food, veganism, minimalism, um, healing, just any of that stuff. Um, please you know, feel free to let me know. I'm always open to feedback and to ideas. Um, and if you enjoyed this practice, please hit that like button and also be sure to hit the red subscribe button for more content that will be coming from me. And check out my blog as well, which will be linked below. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Peace.